Welcome to Nature Poetry and Stories. And today's story is Gia Stars and the Legend of the Mensa Constellation. Why do you look sad, baby? Papa asked. My friend was teased today, says Gia. Hmm. The bully called her drawing ugly and tore it up. She cried and now got scared. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mama hugs Gia. I have a great idea to cheer you up, says Papa. Papa takes Mama and Gia to the Himalayan mountainside. On their trip, Gia loves to run after the butterflies that hover around the beautiful wildflowers. Watch the fish swim near the rocks. Trace the stars with her fingers in the dark sky. Most of all, she loves the story that her papa made up for her, the legend of the Mensa constellation. Gia giggles whenever her papa voices the characters in the story. There were four mountains connected by a river, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Eta. One day, Gamma cried because the three mountains teased him. <laughs> Look at Gamma. His trees are short and thin compared to my luscious redwoods, Alpha said. You're right. Did you notice his forest at night? It's darker than my onyx. He has no glittering gems. Like the ones I have in my caves, Beta said. Gamma, you are not valued by the gods. Your rivers are noisy, your flowers are ugly, and you have no enchanting waterfalls like mine. Eta boasted, ha ha ha! The three mountains laughed together. Hira, the goddess of the constellation, appeared. You are wrong! Her voice boomed out. I value Gamma. I like the peacefulness of Gamma's mountainside. I can hear the birds sing, and most of all, I can see the beautiful stars in his dark skies. In her anger, she blew fire across the three mountains. Alpha, Beta, and Eta's trees burned quickly. Their animals ran to Gamma for safety. Gamma loved his three brothers despite their unpleasantness towards him. He pleaded with Hira to stop the fire, and she listened. The three mountains were left with blackened trees, hardened soil, and burned bushes. To help them, Gamma sent all the animals from his forest. The animals brought water to soften the soil. They toiled the land and planted the seeds. Hira's heart softened because of Gamma's kindness and love. 
for everyone to remember his kindness, he recreated the Mensa constellation in honor of Gamma. I love your story, Papa, says Gia. Gia said goodbye to the dark skies, the stars, and the Himalayan mountains before they went back to the city. Bye! Back in school, Gia saw the bully tease her friend again. Stop! That's not nice. Don't do that again, Gia said to the bully. She drew a star and gave it to her friend. Every night, Papa tells Gia her favorite bedtime story, The Legend of the Mensa Constellation. Then she joyfully draws a star and her papa hangs the star in her room together with her constellation. Now I don't need to look out the window to see the bright stars. My stars shine inside. I am like Hera. Kindness and love will always shine.